What's up guys, Gary here from Hopped LA and today we're gonna to be tasting through a very special beer. Wreck Yo Ship, triple IPA from 14 Cannons. Really excited about this, but before we get into it, I wanna tell you a little bit about Hopped LA. We are a craft beer website and media company that basically tells you everything you need to know about the LA beer scene. New breweries, new beer bars, new beers coming out, anything. We're all over social media, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and all that at Hopped LA, but the real magic is on our email newsletter, hoppedla.com slash subscribe. We'd love for you to join us and stay on top of everything that's going on in LA beer. We've got a lot of cool things coming up this year, so follow along and we'll be your guide. So let's get into this beer now. Recchio Ship is a 10.5% triple IPA from 14 Cannons very limited release beer and I'm going to take you through this step by step. The can, the artwork is incredible. Just all over. It is like the epic battle scene of the most intense video game you have ever played. It's so cool and it just sets the stage for what is about to happen to your palate. So let's crack this open and let's see what's going on inside. So this baby is triple dry hopped with citra, laurel, and motueka. All very good hops here. And right out of the gate, we are getting a lot of aroma coming out of this glass here. Just exactly what you want to smell when you crack open the triple IPA. A lot of uh, nice orangey citrus, a little bit of tropical sweetness. Oh man, very good. And you can tell that this is going to be a bitter one. Another thing I really like on this beer is the color. For a triple IPA, typically you see these beers more in the like dark orange, almost an amber color because they have to use so much malt in order to get the sugar content so high that the yeast will ferment out to, you know, 10 plus percent. But this is a testament to how good the brewing team and particularly Nick Bertolin over at 14 Cannons, how good he is at brewing really massively hoppy big IPAs. That color is like a nice golden yellow, very nice. You typically don't see these beers that light and that's gonna give way to a really dry beer. It's not gonna be overly sweet. So I'm really excited to dig into this. Let's give it a whirl. That is a beautiful beer right there. 10.5%, I'd say you are lying to me. This is drinking more like an 8% beer. Very dry, nice bitterness on this, like not over the top, but really just enough to kind of counteract that sweetness and just hit you for like a quick punch in the mouth with a blast of hoppiness. On the aroma, it's carrying through to the flavor. Orange citrus, a little bit of kind of um, pineapple-y tropical sweetness, but not over the top. That is like very background. This is a very citrus forward beer. Nice bitterness, nice dryness, just a touch of sweetness. Really all you want for a summertime triple IPA. I don't think I'd ever tell you, drink a triple IPA in the dead 100 degree heat of summer, but here I am doing it and it's going down just fine. If any of you guys have heard of Pliny the Younger, highly legendary, triple IPA. I'm going to say it right here. This beer is right on par with that. Very special treat for all of us. Such a good beer and you don't have to wait in line to get it. I am going to sit here and enjoy this. You guys do the same. This was Wreck Yo Ship from 14 Cannons. Let's see what three weavers in Angel City brought to the table. 